W Ethics in Publishing Conference, now in its 12th iteration and after two years of online only to welcome colleagues to this hybrid in-person event. It feels so good to be on campus and online with all of you. And we're gonna be testing a lot of technology today. All right. We will begin with a land acknowledgement. Wherever we are, we are situated in lands that were once the historical homelands of indigenous and Aboriginal people. Take a moment to consider the indigenous people who once made their homes and communities where you are. The George Washington University's Foggy Bottom Campus in downtown Washington, DC, borders the confluence of the Anacostia and Potomac Rivers, a historic center of trade and cultural exchange between several tribal nations. For generations, the Piscataway and Anacostian peoples have resided in this region and served as stewards of the local land and waterways. Their people continue to thrive in the region and still honor and celebrate their culture and relationship with the land. My name is Pooja Thelkacharla, and I serve as adjunct faculty in the GW Masters in Publishing program, as well as licensing and subsidiary rights manager with the American Psychiatric Association. John and I have become the perennial team, and we are so pleased to share with you this varied assembly of speakers and presentations, all approaching ethics from a place of intention followed by action. The last few years have not been easy, but they did create a formative proving ground for making change happen. How can we create and implement programs that support one another in career development? What does it look like to systematically reduce bias with automation? What does it look like to actively interrupt racism in the publishing industry? Are we willing to redefine what a disability looks like and how we can make our publishing program and work culture truly inclusive? These are times of action and response. The speakers today share their innovative programs through their most deeply felt values on creating and maintaining equity in the publishing industry. I'm so excited to learn from their work. And speaking of access, this entire conference is being held online through Zoom and our speakers will move from in-person to online and back. John and I will monitor the Zoom room to share questions with the virtual attendees, and we'll also have a microphone on hand for those of you here at the Churchill Center. The entire conference is being recorded and will be available for viewing online at no charge. Okay, we're already there, good. We have a conference code of conduct that you can find on the conference page. The GW Ethics in Publishing Conference and the MPS in Publishing Program, College of Professional Studies, George Washington University, is dedicated to fostering an inclusive community, free of harassment for everyone, regardless of gender, orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size, race, or religion. We appreciate the support of the College of Professional Studies at the George Washington University for their support of this conference, as well as the tremendous support CPS gives to the Master of Professional Studies and Publishing program. And a special thank you to our conference sponsors, the Association of University Presses, the, Scholar, the Society for Scholarly Publishing, and the Association of American Publishers. Members of the staff of these outstanding organizations are among our speakers during the conference and are resources for the publishing community for our publishing students here at GW. For those of you on Twitter, please use hashtag ethics in publishing. And for the new unofficial publishing ethics week, hashtag publishing ethics week 22. A little bit of housekeeping for those of you who are joining me here at the Churchill Center. Uh, we do have restrooms in the back of the a space that you're welcome to use at your leisure. We will be serving lunch uh, at the conclusion of the morning sessions upstairs in the court in the Kogan courtyard. Uh, the weather has been favorable for us. So if you don't mind eating outside, no food or drinks are allowed in the library with the exception of water. And then finally, a man who needs no introduction, my colleague and friend, John Warren. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, another conference. This is, uh, as Pooja said, this is our third rodeo here. So, but our first hybrid one. Uh, so I just wanted to make a couple brief announcements. Uh, many of you are familiar with the GW Masters in Publishing program. I hope you might consider time to um, recommend the program to a colleague. We uh, prepare students 
for managerial and leadership roles across all segments in publishing and sectors. We have a couple of students that will be presenting here today, including um, as part of our plenary. And um, we welcome you to look more into it. Uh, I did want to mention briefly, we have just launched recently two new certificate programs uh, to go along with the master's program. The graduate certificate in publishing is for aspiring professionals who, who may not need a master's, maybe already have one or may not be ready to commit to a master's. It's the same core curriculum as our master's program. And then the graduate certificate in publishing management is for people that have experience in publishing at least three years of professional experience. And so it concentrates on the upper level courses like accounting, global publishing, professional editor, et cetera. Uh, please contact me if you have more questions about this. Um, it's the same application process as the master's. I also wanted to mention our journal of ethics in publishing. We launched officially uh, this year, earlier this year. We would love you to submit an article of all of our presenters, but also people listening today. Uh, we welcome articles, case studies on topics, including diversity and inclusion, accessibility, peer review, open access, sustainability, publishing metrics, equity, you name it. Uh, and I do want to announce uh, today, officially, we have a new editor-in-chief, Lois Jones, who is here in the audience with us. She is director of peer review at the American Psychological Association, and she is taking over as editor-in-chief. And we have great uh, student committees working on this journal. If you are a GW publishing student, I encourage you to get involved in the journal. It's a lot of fun. So um, without further ado, we're gonna get started. Uh, we have a great schedule today, I think. Uh, we're going to start with the plenary with Kim Ayer Sharif from Penguin Random House, moderated by Tina Donnelly, uh, moving into representation and editorial boards, access and open monographs, uh, and then a lunch break from 11.50 to 12.50. We'll come back after lunch uh, we'll have action and accessibility at 1 p.m., gatekeeping and DEIA at 2.15. Uh, another presentation on that topic uh, after that. Then peer review and preservation uh, at 3.15. And gatekeeping and trade publishing at 4.15. And then if you are in the area, either here in person or in the DC area, join us for a happy hour, a social hour after the conference at Proper 21 on K Street, uh, just a couple blocks here from GW. Um, finally, uh, some of you may be familiar with our Publishing Career Builder series. This is a monthly series that I co-moderate with Nicole Mintz. CPS Career Services Director. Uh, we have a lot of different topics. If you have any suggestions for topics, please reach out to me. Uh, our next one will be November 9th at 6 p.m. On, on your side hustle as a career advantage. And we have a great lineup for that. Um, so we're going to go to our plenary now, if I could do that. 